and welcome to the next tutorial type thing on binary. This one we are going into signed systems and basically negative numbers. Let me just open text edit here again. Um, as, a, as usual the dock is minimized as, to, as small as it can go because it's annoying. But um, anyway in the last video we looked at unsigned systems which was basically you know just zeros and ones there's nothing there it's just all positive numbers whatever you do you cannot get a negative number in this way it's impossible yeah, it just doesn't work that way so what we need is a signed system to let the computer know that this needs to be a negative number or it needs to be done in a different way and such like that and there are three ways about doing this and two of them I'm not gonna lie a crap <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll explain those two first and then I'll go, in, go into the more complicated one afterwards so the first one uh, is called sign and magnitude let me just sit up a bit better so in this in this system um, your you let's say we have a 4-bit system uh, 1010 this is 10 uh, in an unsigned system but in a sign and magnitude system the first bit the most significant bit uh, demo demonstrates yeah it, it tells tells us if it is a positive or negative so what this does is if it is a 1 that means it is a negative what, let me just do an equal sign uh, it means it's a negative number and if it is a zero means it is a positive I'm pretty sure it's that way around if it's not that way around I apologize <laughs> I'm very tired I've just spent all night doing an essay and now I'm doing revision straight after for my exam tomorrow it's horrible alright <laughs> but uh, anyway one is negative zero is positive so for this number um, let's just split this out basically it turns this into a three bit system so we have um, question mark which is positive or negative and we just and go take this down a bit and then we have uh, four and then we have two and then we have one so these are the meanings behind the binary and uh, let's just put that that looks better so basically it is a one that means it's negative so it means we have a negative number uh, so this binary would be uh, negative 2 and okay so that works yeah we've got a negative number if we put this as a 0 and yet now we've got a positive 2 which is fine you know that that's fine as it is but can you see a flaw in this can you I think you can uh, as well as getting rid of you know a, a, a bit which is basically half the maximum number you know from now on we've just we've just lost the ability to produce eight um, or the ability if it's a byte to produce uh, what was the 190 something I can't remember um, but we've just lost that bit you know we cannot use that to make a bigger number but the bigger problem is is this can you let's see if you can work this out pause the video can you see a flaw how about now? I think you can see it now. There are two ways to represent zero, which is not good. This zero zero zero, well one zero zero zero, is a negative zero, which in itself, what the hell? It makes no sense whatsoever. But zero 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 equals positive zero, which makes no sense. So that's basically a useless system because it get it removes the ability to use this bit here and it also gives us two negative zeros two ne what the hell am i saying it also gives us two versions of zero so we do not want that sign and magnitude uh, is a bit of a broken system so let's move on to uh, one's complement oops this is a little bit better one's complement is a little bit more tricky as well in terms of uh, what you have to do and you know let's just use a 4-bit system again so let's go with the usual example of 101010 and in a ones complement uh, 
in a once complement what you do is you reverse the uh, the bits so basically you flip the bits so let's flip bits that sounds quite funny so this would turn into 0 1 oops 0 1 okay and that would tell us it is a negative 10 and it's pretty easy to memorize I mean it works in most situations but again you've got a problem so if we want to represent 0 we've got 0 0 0 and then the ones complement of 0 0 0 will be what we're doing 1 1 1 1 you're talking about zero, zero, zero. It's, yeah. Anyway, so the normal and um, one's complement, it just it gives us a way of having zero twice, which is not good. Okay, sorry about that. I had to kind of just um, stop recording and record again before to to find my my own mind, which is kind of odd. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back. Um, the flaw with this is that you can again get two zeros. Um, you've got uh, normal zero, which is zero 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 zero. Okay, so that equals zero. And then you've got the ones complement zero, which is the negative version of zero, which is one 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 one. And one of negative one, which is something you do not want. Okay, in any system, you do not want anything that can give you uh, a negative zero. <laughs> or two zeros, you know, multiple zeros is not a good thing. So one's complement is out already. So it was good, it was a nice improvement, but no. And now we're going to move on to two's complement, which is the best way, uh, I think, and probably the most common way. So let's just put that in there, two's complement. And two, two's complement works in the same way. It is where you uh, flip the bits or reverse the bits and then add one. And by adding one, I mean add 0001 which is basically 1. Um, now let's uh, try that again. Let's have a 4 bit system so 1010 one, zero, as usual and then use 2's complement to turn that into 0101 zero, one, zero, one. so that would equal 8 and that would equal negative 8 which is fine, that works, okay, cool. Um, let's try zero. Okay, for zero in a normal um, system, it's zero, 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 zero. Obviously that equals zero. In a two's complement system, is we flip the bits and then add one. So let's just get rid of all this. Let's flip the bits first. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one, 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 one. Yeah, we, that, that is the same as one's complement, but now we need to add a binary of one. And to do that, we need to have an, another bit. So that would equal to uh, one, one, two, three, four. And of course that is a four bit number which is absolutely useless you know so we don't need that bit there so what happens because this is a 4 bit system uh, is we get rid of that so it becomes 0000, zero, zero, zero which equals 0 there's no negative there it is just a 0 exactly the same as that which is why 2's complement works and is brilliant uh, which is also awesome for audio so I hope you have learned something from this. Um, if you want more examples, I can easily write them out. I will do a little written article on my blog. So if you go to my website, you can easily view that there. And uh, take care, guys. Thanks for watching.